All right, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Most High, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Akakadash. Say double honor to the apostles and the elders that do rule well at Great Millstone. Say peace and salutation to Yahweh, out there pushing his gospel and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the humble and sincere sisters as well. Hey, dearie brother Kalam. Hey, brother Quara. Coming out to preach you where you are, Shem Yahushai. And the lesson bringing out today is that the righteous shall be scarcely saved. You know, because you're coming down in these times, you watch, you watch the Christian church, you know, you watch the, the Islam, you know, the Muslims and them. And you see that there's millions of them within their congregations, you know. But the scripture says the righteous shall be scarcely saved. It's not gonna be a great number that's gonna come out of them and get saved from this destruction. You know, it's a, it's a small amount of people. Mm, a, a, a great a great number, you know, gonna be destroyed. Okay. You know, and if you look and, and watching it as the scripture saying in, in Zechariah 13. Right? Zechariah 13. Verse verse 8. Right, you see. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, said the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Can. Yeah. Right? You yeah, watch, you yeah, watch the nation of Israel. Right? Watch how much Jake's in the Christian church. They're going to get cut off and die. They're part of that two third that are going to be put to death with their enemies. You understand? Only one third of Israel going to be saved. The, the lack, okay. you know, that's a remnant that the scriptures say, though Israel be like the sand of the seas, yet a small number gonna be saved. You know, they how the Lord be limit, you know, a small amount, a small okay. portion. You know, he ain't come for, he ain't come for everybody, right? Just come for that, you know, a small sanctuary, okay. right? So look at that great, a great amount, you know, that in Christianity. Mm -hmm. You know, and, 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 and they have hope that, you know, that they are, the, they are the true believers, that they are, the, you know, the true worshippers, you know, and look at, look, look at that great amount yeah. hey, that's going to perish, <laughs> you know, because hey, they, in, in the majority of idol worship, yeah. right, they ain't serving the living power, your Basham, your Shai, yeah. so that great amount going to be taken. Right, and even from the beginning, the Musa never dealt with a, with any great multitude. You look at Yahusha, he chose 12 men. Even the Musa, you know, he came to Abraham, came to Isaac, to Jacob, 12 sons. He, he was never with dealing with everybody or you no know, great multitude. So, like in Yahusha Passover, it was not set to a millions of people. You just see only 12 disciples. Many are called, but few are chosen, Can. you know. Lord commend us for that, you know, the, the righteous seed, you know, okay. the elect, the, the, the governors, you know, who follow your Basham, your Shai, you know. Okay, we're in 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 17. 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 17. 17. He said, For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Jacob, at the house of Yehovah. And if it first began with at us, what shall the end of them that will be not the gospel of Yahweh Shem Yahshem? Can you know read verse eighteen, sir? Right, this eighteen he say, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Can so in these last times, here, the scriptures say the judgment gonna come to the house of Yahweh first. So you know, you brothers out there that doing the works. We knew sincere sisters out there as well, you know. The judgment gonna come to us first. Our temptation, the trial is gonna come to us first. And in verse 18, it says the righteous, you know, getting to the point, the righteous shall be scarcely saved. So it, it don't make sense why these Christians and them thinking that they all gonna get saved. They have millions of them, but I've been Jehovah Witness, Roman Catholicism, Pentecost, Seventh day Adventist. And you know, they, they act like if they, you know, doing, it dif doing different things, but they all have the same doctrine and belief. They believe in, in idolatry, they believe in Jesus the Christ, the so that so called white man. They believe that the Lord done away with. You know, they don't follow after Yahweh Basham El Shai. So the scriptures say it's, um, um, where shall the ungodly, right, so, and if the righteous shall be scarcely saved. Where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Yeah, so then barely, uh, <laughs> the righteous barely making it, barely scarce. 
means a small amount. Yeah. Right? So imagine where the, the sinner and the ungodly gonna appear. Come. Right? If the righteous barely make it, what gonna happen to them? They're gonna be burnt up, they're gonna be destroyed, they're gonna be consumed by the power of your basham your shai. All of them that you know you turn the back on your basham your shai. Right? And the scripture says, say he that endure it to the end shall be saved. You know, so you're watching like if you go back to one west, how much men from, from one west fall out the truth? And going back into the world, you know, but you see, we apostles and them, them endure until this day. You understand? So, this way, as they say, you know, he that endure till the end shall be saved. Many virgin, you know, men you call virgin, that we call virgin, they're not gonna be there at the end. You understand? Because we don't know, we don't know who gonna be saved. You understand? That's why you have to continue to pray to about Shami Shai and, and pray that, you know, he get our faith to endure until the end. Had a mercy upon you, you know, because it had real men come into the truth and they fall out. They go back into the world, go back preaching um, the virgin birth, preaching Jesus the Christ, preaching the Lord done away with, right? Leaning onto their own understanding and falling out, you know. You could have a precept, but you could get Romans 9, verse 26. Romans 9. Verse 26. He say, And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are, ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living power. He say, Isaiah also cried concerning Israel, Though the number of the children be as the son of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. Come. <laughs> look look at Jake, you know. Our as, as I say, a son of the sea. We are a great multitude on the earth, the children of Israel. You know, we are around the four corners of the earth, we are in every crevice. You understand? But it's a remnant of that shall be saved. Millions of the children of Israel are gonna be put to death. You know, male, female, child, elderly. You understand? They're all gonna be put to death alongside the enemy. I now go back to the same point. These major religions think that they had the truth. But watch how much of them in their congregations. There's millions of them in the, in, in the churches. Or in the mosques or whatever. So it can't, they can't be the righteous people. They can't have the truth. They can't be the ones that are going to get saved. Because Yahushai, he ain't returning for a great multitude. Yahushai returning for that remnant. And who is that remnant? Those that were predestined to be conformed. You understand? Those, those first fruits. You understand? The, the men that he foreknew. Right? The ones that are going to endure until the end. Keep the faith. Keep the Lord's statutes and commandments. And believe fully in him. And the Father. You understand? Those are the men that they are shy coming back. And coming back for. And those men, we is not a great multitude. You know, Lord willing, we are those chosen men. It's not millions of us, as the scriptures say, the elect 144,000. You understand how much people it have in here? Like 5, 6, 7 billion. Only a small multitude of these people are going to be saved. Yeah, we have peace about. Samuel chapter 2 verse 8 say he raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory for the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he had set the world upon them okay. yeah so the most high in a way he is you're gonna, you're gonna raise them up, you know, from the poor, out of the um. dust, you know, the, the leg, the leg, you know, they, they gonna, they gonna rule, they gonna, they gonna reign with your Basham, your Shai, you know, you know, we be in this low, low, low state, you know, hey, you know, they, you gonna, you gonna make me rich, right, he had the, he had the power, he had the power to do that, you know, 
qui bring out second is just eat on one the second is just to eat this one and he answered me saying the most high had made this world for many but the world to come for few can so so in a plain as they hear you know when he say he made this world for many you see the the um, Assyrian, the Babylonian Empire, the Middle Persian, the Greeks, the Romans, all these heathens they get to rule on this side. You know? We say but the world to come for few. Only the children of Israel well hey, the elect firstly, you know, the ones the first fruits are gonna get saved out of the destruction. And Lord willing we are those chosen men. The world was gonna be made for our six. That world to come is for you know our six. Come, yeah, the scripture say that for Esau is second as just for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. Can you know? Okay, but one verse three. All right. Verse three. He said, "There be many created, but few shall be saved." Can so you know sometimes people like to say, "Why would the Most High destroy so me create?" I don't you know, like to come with that kind of talk. But all the people need to understand is that the, He is the Most High for a reason. You understand? He's the the greatest omnipotent omniscient being the creator of all things you understand they say of adam come you all even the people whom thou hast chosen you know the world was made for our six as for the other people they be like unto spittle so even though the most i create all these people it's a few shall be saved so the majority of this of this earth you are gonna be in that fire you're gonna get put to death on this side you're gonna die from farming you're gonna die from those nukes and all you're gonna die from those lasers coming from the chariots of our Lord. But only that few remnants shall be saved. You know, going back um the movie with the knowing with the little the little children on them and then coming on to the end, you know, the boy was with his father and they let him know if your father can't come, it's only you call you the chosen you chosen you can know, only the chosen man go, you know. It, it's not for everybody, you know. Yeah. Just like now everybody gonna get their shoot, you know. The scripture say, you know, wisdom, you know, she is not manifest unto many, Can't. right? Just a small amount, a remnant. And this thing, the men are going to be chosen, you know, this thing already predestined, you know, already made before the foundations of the earth, who was going to get chosen, who going to get put to death, who the wicked shall be, who the righteous would be, you know, so we, Yahweh already knew us from the beginning, you know, the scripture said that, you can get um, Romans, 8 and 29. Verse 29. For whom he did for you, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the first born among many brethren. Can in one verse 30 say moreover whom he did predestinate? Them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. So, the men that known as the elect, we we knew Yahweh Shai, we've been with Yahweh Shai ever since the beginning. That's why it says, Whom he did foreknow, who he knew beforehand. It's us that are gonna be, it was our destiny to be conformed. You understand? So, the men that hear his word. And choose to follow him and go after his ways, you know, and follow in your Basham Yahushai. They were chosen to do that. That is, that is their fate, that is their destiny. You know, so as the brother said, not everybody gonna get his truth, and everybody gonna understand. Okay. Yeah, it so wasn't made for them to understand. Okay. So, you know, if you win, if you win, if you win, get this, no, you're not gonna get it. Okay. You know, because the ones who waken up, you know, is who was already predestined, who already was there. You know, having this shoot, they're gonna come back, right? And they're gonna be in, they're gonna get it shoot. Okay. They're gonna manifest unto them because they were already predestined, you know? So, this now manifest unto everybody, right? Okay, get the book of um, Isaiah 10 and 21. Isaiah 10, verse 21. He said, the remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty power. For though thy people, Israel, be as the son of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption, decree, shall overflow with righteousness. Can. 
So it's showing you here again, you know, you realize it's saying the same thing over and over, talking about this remnant, this 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 chosen, it's like the chosen out of the chosen. You know, even though they be as the son of the sea, you know, it's just as a great multitude. It say only a remnant of them shall return. Only a small amount of Israelites is gonna receive that salvation. You know? Yeah, yeah, anything? yeah there's um this John seventeen this? six. Yeah. Look at John chapter seventeen verse six. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. Yeah, so that's why you see the elect, right? He manifests, you know, to everybody, you know, but just this small amount, you know, this remnant, come, you know, not everybody gonna get this, not everybody gonna get this truth, right? And sometimes you know you're talking to these tutors and them and for some reason you're wondering it might be clear as day to you, you know, but to them they it just not registering, you know, <laughs> like them them spirits and them blocking the spiritual eyes and the spiritual ears, you know. So the most high so Abashem, you know, he manifests, you know, that name unto the elect. Okay. You know, his wisdom unto the elect. Right? Call us, you know, his servants, you know, his brethren. You, know, you could get John 15, verse 15. Look at John chapter 15, verse 15. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. Yeah, so he had made known unto the elect. Okay. All right. Verse 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you, that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Okay. Yeah. So the most I chose, he had chosen me because we was um. already there with him. We was there before. We was already, you know, predestined. You know, so it's not, it's not new people. You know, he chose the scripture and say, you know, there is nothing new under the sun to say that, you know, he look at this, this is new. No, same spirit from back then, you know. So, there's not no new person, you know, the same predestinate. And as I cut to the, the spiritual Israelites doctrine, where they believe that you could somehow magically become a part of the children of Israel. The scripture says, concerning the flesh, Hamashiach came. You know, and just as your brother said, we were there from the beginning, nothing new under the sun. We were predestinated to, to be saved, right? So when the Mosai, when everything was planned in the, in the garden, you understand with the serpent, was not a literal serpent, you know, or, or everything was planned beforehand, you understand? The Mosai already knew what was going to happen, yeah. you know? They, 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 they move it, you know, he, he's the author, you know, <laughs> he write the script, yeah. you know, everybody just had to follow you know, you know, so you see, he ain't, he ain't chosen everybody, you know, okay. this truth, he manifest everybody, but to the elect, who was already the, who already predestined to be saved, right, having this knowledge, this wisdom, you know, having this truth, the understanding, yeah. you know, are the scriptures, right, you get the, um, second of Jesus 8, 62. Second Ezra chapter 8 verse 62 These things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee, and a few like thee. Then answered I and said, Behold. Yeah, so you see, uh, these things he had showed, <laughs> you know, not unto all men. Come. 
And that's why they can't get it. You know, yeah. because sometimes you, as I say, you, you're trying to show them the, the correct thing, showing them that right path, trying to break down things, and as I say, it will seem easy to you, like it, it clicking, it making perfect sense, you're understanding, your spirit receiving it, but for some reason, they're not receiving it. They don't want, because it wasn't made for them to receive. They can't, they, they can't get something that wasn't made to, to be given unto them. Yeah. Now they might get it, you know, they will get it, so like in the, in the new world, after they come through the men of the Lord, they come through all loins, you know, and they come back in the right mind, the right spirit. But on this side, it wasn't made for them to understand. Yeah, you get that in um, yeah, um, Acts 28. Um, Acts start at 24. Book of Acts chapter 28, verse 24. And some believed the things which were spoken, and some believed not. And when they agreed not among themselves, they departed. After that Paul had spoken one word, well, well speak the Holy Ghost by Isaiah the prophet unto our fathers, saying, Go unto this people and say, Hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and not perceive. Yeah. So we can. You know, read really back 26. Verse 26 saying, Go unto this people and say, Hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and not perceive. Yeah, so you know it, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't given to them. God. Right? You know, they go get it, you know, as as uh, when you're shy, you know, when he was speaking in parables, you know, he was breaking down the parables onto the elect. You know, and you know they don't want you know, you know they, Oh yes, you're breaking it down the scriptures to we and you're speaking to we at plain, but unto them, you know, you're speaking in parables. Okay. We tell them. It is given unto all you to know the <laughs> mysteries of the kingdom. Can. But to them is not given. Right? You get Romans um you get Romans eleven. Romans eleven verse seven. Look at Romans chapter eleven verse seven. What then? Israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election had obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Yeah, so the elect <laughs> gonna obtain this because they was already predestined before. Can. Salvation coming to them. They gonna wake up as they gonna praise your Basham your shy. That name gonna be manifest back to them. And they're gonna have the name. And they're gonna call upon the name because hey, they know that is the power and that is the deliverer. So when all hell break loose, what what name you think the leg gonna call? Your Basham your shy. That is who the leg gonna call. They are gonna praise your Basham your shy. Right? Go ahead. Verse 8. According as it is written, Yahweh hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. Can yeah. Yeah, Isaiah 42 20. They ain't gonna understand, they ain't seen it. They seen it, but they can't perceive it. You know? It's like it's like seeing the letter A and saying B. <laughs> okay. Book Isaiah chapter 42 verse 20. Seeing many things, but thou observest not. Within in the ears, but he heareth not. Yeah. He can't. He can't. He can't. He can't. He can't. No. <laughs> because it's not for you. This is not, this wasn't manifest to many. Can't. Scripture see that in, um, in Sirach 6.22. Because Sirach chapter 6 verse 22. For wisdom is according to her name, and she is not manifest unto many. Yes, she is not manifest unto many. <laughs> that is why your child breaking on the scriptures, you know, to the twelve, to the to the elect. Come. It is given unto all here. Yeah. But they say manifest, you know, unto many. Then they gonna they gonna get it. Hey, so. We're not Matthew 7 and 13. Matthew 7 is 13. 13. He said, Enter he in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in, which go in 
be a rat. Yeah, verse 14. He said, Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Come. A few. <laughs> Not many. You know, as a, a lot of you all running in these Christian churches and thinking you all save. No. You all, you all, you all not save. Come. And it, it's set up in a way. You know, we say nah, those who were predestined is then will be conformed, you know, and will come back to the truth. It's almost as if it, it was made for us to find our way. And no matter how, how, how hard you people might try, you wouldn't be able to find it. It wasn't made for you all to, to walk this path. Unless, you know, you, you is part of the elect. Can. You know, because, you know, you're going to come out of these Christian churches, you know, if you is part of the elect. You know, because in, a, in the last hour, in, a, in the nick of time, you know, it might be, you know, the most high God and, you know, the lack. You know, they're going to they're gonna come out, right. you know, but only if they was predestinated for, you know, for the shoot. That's why sometimes you might see brethren looking like Edomites or Elamites. And, you know, they're saying, how come you have this Edomite in, in the camp? But not knowing that that just a confusion her face and that, that brother is maybe part of the elect. And how you know that? Because he received the true doctrine and he had faith in Yahweh Basham Yahushai. It's not just about skin color or hair texture, it's, it's about faith. And that's why I always fail to realize, I always think carnally. Yeah, you know, you might be able to watch a Jake and see that Jake has certain characteristics. But being in the, you know, mingling among the heathen, they understand brethren will look different. They wouldn't look the way they were supposed to look. But yet they, they praise in Yahweh Basham Yahushai. You know, and it could get um, to back it, back it up, second is just um, seven and six. Second is seven verse six. He said, there, there is also another thing. A city is built and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. He said, the entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall, like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left deep water and one only part between them both even between the fire and the water so small that they could they could but one man go in there at once can you read this 9 and 10 you see and if the city now were given unto a man for an inheritance if he shall not pass the danger that is set before it how shall he receive this inheritance and I said, It is so, Lord. Then said he unto me, Even so is Israel's portion. You can. You realize it say, Even so also is Israel's portion. So you people that think you're just gonna come in. You know, the most high, you just forget you people, forget all the first fruits, just forget everything. You know, let let, that, let the past be the past, and everybody just gonna come in. Well, you're Elamite, Edomite, Hamite, you know, you Ammonite, you could just come in and, and get saved. No, the scripture says, him so is Israel's portion. So, this walk, hey, Moses said the world was made for our sakes. You understand? We are the main protagonists in the Moses movie. You understand? And then the main antagonist will be Esau. Right? But back to that point, is Israel, Israel is the stars. This walk was made for us to walk. There's a show in a way, yeah, you know, the lack in a way, you know, you know, you know, you gotta enjoy, you know, because in you know, a way, we're gonna be, you know, the most I gonna try, you gonna try the lack, mm-hmm. you know, but hey, the lack was already predestined, <laughs> them, is, hey, them gonna hold strong, you know, they got cursed out east, so you know, hey, to hell with you and your, your so called, you know, COVID cure, you know, your RFID chip, you know, you stick that chip up mm-hmm. your ass, you know. Be faithful in you know, even unto death, right. you know. And the leg, you know, the leg gonna stand firm. The leg gonna stand for your basham your shy because we know what the Lord have in store for the leg. Right. right? The scripture says in Second Ezra, you know, we can't even comprehend what the Lord have in store for the righteous. It's gonna be beautiful. Right. We gonna rule this world, right? So the leg is gonna, you know, to be part of this world, to fight up with this world, to, to build something in this world. No, the world to come is for them. Right? Scripture say, you know, after death, you know, we shall live again. Okay. When the name of the righteous shall be declared. Right? 
So we gotta, you know, we gotta go through this, you know, the most you you gonna you gonna try me. Okay. You know, there's how the Lord has proved, you know, our patience, our meekness, you know, you could get that in um in wisdom of Solomon uh two nineteen. Wisdom of Solomon chapter two verse nineteen. Let us examine him with despitefulness and torture, that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. Yeah, that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. Hey, we, hey, we're gonna be, we're gonna be hey, put through the fire. God. But we, hey, we're gonna enjoy, you know, you know, the Lord, you know, he had his spirit, you know, upon, you know, his elect, you know, to stand firm as and good up, you know, our loins as men. Right? God, the scripture saying, um, in Revelation 3 10. Okay, Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Yeah. See, what keep we can you know, from the hour of temptation. You know, the leg gonna be saved. You know, and, and it come in. You know, it read verse 11. Verse 11, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Hold on to this shoot. Okay. Right? Hold on to, you know, what you all been taught. Right? The, 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 you know, the... Because the, 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 GMS, you know, Great Millstone, you know, they have 100% shoot. Okay. You know, hold on to, you know, that which, you know, which he have been taught. You know? You know, I believe, you know, the apostle, you know, he, is the men, you know, the most I set up, you know, to, 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 to govern, you know, to wake up the elect. Right? Bring out Revelation 2 and 26. And he that overcome it, and keep it my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I receive of my father. Can yeah, so we win and study if you lose your life here. Yeah. We win and study here if you get in torture here. Yeah. 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 Read it over. <laughs> Revelation 2 verse Sarah 26. And he that overcome it and keep it my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to yeah, shivers. So the scripture say, no way, for a light affliction, which is just for a moment. Yeah. Which is a try, we eh, just for a moment, it's not gonna be forever. Hey, eh, it's gonna be a eh, quick, just a moment. It's just a bear, you know, it's a bit to bear and to hold on, to hold straight and hold fast. Come. The book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed Come. in us. Yeah. <laughs> you can't compare. Come. This place is hell. This place here is not paradise. And it shows like the fruits that the elect bring forth. It, it shows as they say we will not accept the, the, the poison, we will not accept the MOTB. You understand? We will not accept it to follow after the so-called white man and his B system. We all fear our basham yaushai. You know when you people run into to, to Egypt for help, we run into our basham yaushai. Well, that is our help. And in want of all things we all everything we do is Yao Basham Yaushai. It it shows who is the elect. You understand? Because they the things the elect will be doing, holding the faith until the end, enduring until the end, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, having faith in your Basham Yaushai, walking that, striving to walk that righteous path, striving to be perfect, be perfect, even as your Father in heaven, which is perfect. That's what the elect will be doing in these times. You understand? So, yeah, you, it shows, you know, your fruits show, you shall know them by their fruits. You understand? Anything I can go. To bring out um, to give a second is just nine and fifteen. The second is just chapter nine verse fifteen. You see, I have said before and now do do speak and will speak it also hereafter. That there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. Yeah, read verse 16 up. You see, like, as a wave is greater <laughs> than a drop. God, imagine a wave. 
coming towards you and a drop from a wave is what can receive salvation. How small a remnant is, you know? The righteous shall be scarcely saved. It's not a great multitude. The majority of the, the, this human race is going to be put to death. The majority of Israel, Esau, Edom, done for. These are the heathens done for. Only that remnant shall be saved. Many more are going to perish than them which shall be saved. Okay. You know? You know? Um, you can ask that. You can bring out um, Ta Ezekiel 11 and 16. You close out there. Ezekiel chapter 11 verse 16 he said therefore say thus said the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahushai although I have cast them far off among the heathens and although I have scattered them among the countries yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary Can. in the countries where they shall come Can. yeah it's a little sanctuary right because they were, hey, your, they were your shy coming for that little sanctuary. Mm-hmm. You know, you speak that in and get, we, let's read one more precept. Okay, Isaiah 11 verse 11. Book Isaiah chapter 11 verse 11. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people. Yeah, the remnant, a small okay. amount. Go ahead. But shall be left from Assyria, from Egypt, from Patros, from Cush, and from Elam, and from China, and from Hamat, and from the islands of the sea. Yes, and from the islands of the sea, as we now read in Ezekiel, okay. you know, where the Lord had scattered we, you know, in all these countries, yet he will be to them as a little sanctuary. Because <laughs> <laughs> they will come in for you, come in to gather the like. Okay. A few, a remnant. Okay. Okay. You know, mm-hmm. and with that, truly hope the system was edifying, giving all praises, honor, and glory unto the Mosai, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Akakadash, giving double honors to the apostles and the elders that do rule well at Great Millstone, peace and salutation to Yaki, Mode, pushing his gospel and sincerity and truth. Say Shalom. Shalom.